Hey, what's up you guys? This is Applesauce Gaming here. And today I'm going to be playing the Lehigh Mountain Hawks. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay. They, yeah, we're supposed to beat them, but I mean... Like I said, like I always say, I mean, anything could happen in this game because uh, I play Georgia. Georgia's a good team. Georgia was supposed to be a really good team. And I also play Fresno State. They were supposed to be a good team. Fresno State, I killed Fresno State, okay? Fresno State was blown the fuck off the map whenever I played them. So, I mean, anything could happen, honestly. Stable Arena. This is a really nice arena. Wow. 42.7 points per game. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into our... Damn. As soon as I hit that trap thing, everybody, like, turn around. Well, starting this game off really well. You know, he's gotten... He's, he's got way too many fouls. Okay, his assist and points leads their team. He shoots 50%. And they are beating us. Okay. Oh, so they're gonna try that. Okay, well I'm gonna just run up in here and tie the game. Oh, that was backcourt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see you. Nope. Mm -mm, not today. Here we go. Come on. Okay, can I get a steal, please? No? Okay, I can just get a foul. That's okay. How, I really want to know why me and I want to know how, why Harvard and Dartmouth are in sixth and seventh place in the conference when we're the only two undefeated teams. Like, how how does that happen? Get in there! Come on, man. Here's a steal. Uh, bada bada boom. We got a steal. Get off of me, man. Come on. Who do you think I am? Go in there. Why do you miss the shot, man? Why are you missing the shot? Oh, I'm still really excited for tomorrow's game with Virginia. I cannot wait. It's going to be so great. And hopefully, hopefully it's a close game because I'm honestly getting a little tired of the blowouts and I know what y'all gonna say y'all gonna be like then turn up the difficulty to um all, all conference or all American and I must say no because I'm not about that life I only do that during the conference tournament and the NCAA tournament and that's the only time I'm gonna do it so y'all can shut up but in all seriousness, um, there have been, back in the day, whenever, whenever I first got this game, I played as Alabama because I grew up in Alabama, <clears throat> and, um, I played like this. I didn't like, you can, you can actually cheat in this game. You can, uh, make your, you can actually make your players better, but 
Uh, you guys, like, literally have my word that I did not bump up any players. I actually did kind of debate it because, like, I wanted it to be a good series because I thought that I thought that I was going to end up with, like, a really sucky team. But I guess I kind of didn't. But, um, so, like, and it was before I knew that that could happen. And, of course, that was a foul on me. But I didn't know that you could, like, bump up your levels on the what on the players and stuff like that. So I just played it normally. And Alabama is not a good team in any way. And so I never shot three-pointers. I shot maybe, like, two three-pointers the entire season. Like, that's not a joke. I shot maybe two. Because, and those two were the ones, like, those two were, like, in the first game. And way off they were I think one of them was an air ball and so I was like yeah I'm gonna not do that no more so I played through the entire season and I got to Kentucky and um what I did is I would always throw it to a C and RB and I would have to literally count on uh those games and these games were like very very low scoring games I'm pretty sure I played it probably on all varsity like I'm playing this and probably even easier than that maybe like junior varsity I don't even know what the lowest level on here is but um I lost the game but the thing was I lost by like one point so that's why I'm saying of course these games aren't gonna be too hard but a game against a team like Virginia should be close because I've played against Kentucky on I think the easiest difficulty in the game and they still beat me so the game tomorrow should be should genuinely be a good game to watch because it's supposed to be close like I'm not lying I'm not joking here damn but yeah those were some really fun times, like, whenever I started this game. Because, like I said, I, ha I literally had to count on getting the ball, like, in the paint and shooting it. And I think they actually beat me in overtime or something like that. It was a really close game, and it was, like, really rough. But I think I ended up winning the NCAA tournament that year, and I think I had to play Kentucky somewhere along the road, and I think I ended up beating them. But I really don't remember those days. Those days were really dark. There have been there have been years have actually lost in like early rounds of the NCAA tournament. Like, um, especially whenever I played on All American because All American's no joke. Like in this game right now, Lehigh would already have thirty points. Like <laughs> All American is like. The players never stand still. They never don't uh, move right here. That I'm wouldn't be a thing. There's no way I could pull that off. This one-three-one half-court uh, trap thing, it would kind of work, but not as well as it does right now. I could not steal it very well. They would block pretty much every shot. Um, it's just really they bump up everything, and it's just really. The entire thing is really difficult. I don't really under I don't really know how to explain it. It's just hard. Just know that it's hard. But yeah, especially whenever oh my god, whenever you get to the final four, they act it's literally like the world is ending because like the the like stadium that you're in is the I think it's the the, the the one in Indianapolis. I think it's that stadium every single year. And like oh my god, it is like amazing. Like the way that they programmed that stadium and like made it into the game. It looks really nice. Like I wish I was good at that kind of stuff. Like why can't I be good at programming or something? I could make money. I could have money, but no, I'm working at Wendy's, and I'm broke AF, you know, I get paid every two weeks, what the hell am I even talk telling you guys about this for? I ain't got nobody to talk to. <laughs> oh my god, they took their time out. Okay, yeah, we went on a little bit of a run there. It was pretty close every second. I was starting to think to myself, maybe I should just shut up and play the game, 
because at one point it was 16 to 12 and I was like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and jump into this. Who are you gonna talk to? Who are you gonna talk to him? Oh, run with it. Lean with it, rock. Damn it, why did I do that? Yo, what was that? What the hell was that? Can I count on, count on you for anything? Can you do anything? Shit. Can you do anything at all? Lehigh is out rebounding us. This is why I need better, like, post players. <sighs> this is too much. Okay, come on. Okay, that's great. Wow. Oh, there was a fall on him. Okay, interesting. That's very interesting. Look at him, he's swinging air. But yeah, I don't know why I keep mentioning this Virginia game. It's really our only like, if we, if we win the game, then it should actually like get us ranked in the long run because if we win then it'll like uh, I don't I don't even know how the ranking works to be honest especially in this video game so like it's way different than real life but um like if uh if you beat Virginia and you're supposed to be not that good then they're gonna be like maybe we should rank them <laughs> Because Virginia's undefeated, and unless they had a game like today and they lost, they're still undefeated. So, they're undefeated. We could give them their first loss of the season. This is such a great time. And it's at Virginia. Why the hell did I shoot that? Okay, well, I made a good decision. But it's at Virginia, so that's really good because... Um, that will knock them down in the toughest places to play because there's this stat that's like, you guys have seen it, I'm sure. Um, it's the very first like menu thing on the, the home screen of the Dynasty mode. It's uh, It says toughest places to play, and if I beat them at Virginia, then they'll they'll go down in those rankings, and it should, it'll push me up, you know? Because I haven't lost at home. And if they lose to Harvard, which not ranked team, they're gonna go way down. So, yeah, and if we win, we go undefeated this year, then, I mean, I'm not saying that we're gonna be ranked in the toughest places to play, which is not that prestigious, like, that's not a, like, really prestigious, uh, like, ranking, but I, th I think that's pretty cool, like, and plus, it's a, uh, it's like a, um, shoot. Dude, that was really nice. Um, it's solidified like for the entire year. Like um, the toughest places to play thing can't change until next year. Like right now, I'm pretty sure like the toughest one is I think it's North Carolina right now, and it's gonna stay in North Carolina until the new rankings come out after the NCAA tournament. And also, I need you guys to tell me, and I don't even know why I'm talking about this now because it's so far away, but. Um, I need you all to tell me if you guys want me to play the, um, McDonald's All-American game. I don't know if I want to play it because, like, it really doesn't even matter. Like, it literally doesn't matter. But, um, if you guys want me to play it, then I can. And that was a backcourt, dude. Like, what are you doing? But if you guys want me to play it, I mean, I get why people would play it. It's to, like, check out your recruits, see how well they do. But... I really don't see the point. Like, I really don't. I don't at all. I think it's kind of dumb that you have the choice of playing it. Even the choice. Like, get it out of the game. But, see. If you guys want me to play it, then just let me know. I'll play it for y'all if you guys want me to. I really don't want to play it. Like, I mean, I will, but... I'm not going to unless somebody says play it. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not going to. I'm not saying, like, I absolutely will not play it. I will play it. I just... I'm not going to play it 
and have people complain about it. So, yeah, I don't even forget forget how you even mentioned it, okay? Just forget it. But yeah, this season this season is looking pretty bright. I thought it was going to be really rough at the beginning of the season even after our first win because I thought the first win, who did we even play? I don't even I think we played like Central Arkansas or something. But we played like a no team, like a nobody team. And so I was like, yeah, this season's going to be like kind of rough. Don't know how it's going to go. And then we played Georgia and I was like, holy crap, we might be kind of good. And then we played Fresno State and Fresno State was rated really, really well. And then I was like, damn, we might be like NCAA tournament good. And I do actually think that we will make the NCAA tournament like now because this will be our 10th win because I do think we're actually going to win this game because they have about 8 minutes to score 20 points and I don't even think they're going to score 40 so so we're going to be 10-0 and 0 after this game and then we play Virginia and we'll see how that game goes if we beat Virginia then we're definitely going to the NCAA tournament because that's going to be on our RPI and that's going to bump it's going to put our RPI like really high up and that's what we need, you know. We need our high RPI to go up, and that'll put us higher in the uh, the media poll, which is the actual like ranking that you see. And we haven't played a ranked team yet. Holy crap! I can't wait till we play a ranked team. That's not gonna happen for a while though, because there are no ranked teams on our schedule right now, unless Virginia like became ranked for some reason. Which I do not see happening because I'm pretty sure the rankings come out on like Monday or something. And it's definitely not a Monday. Not today, Satan. Not today. Go, my child. Shoot, my child. Go in. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, that was really nice, mate. Nice. That wasn't nice at all. That was rather terrible. Okay, we need to get that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Get that good, good. Get in there. That was horrific. Absolutely terrible. How did you get into Hobbit? Scoreless in the last two minutes and six seconds. Let's keep it that way. Just kidding. Let's not keep it that way. I can't do anything. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, we only got six minutes left, you guys. And we have double their score. Interesting. 24. You know what's better than 24? 25. Uh, ooh. I can't even. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like I said. Oh yeah. I looked at the. Yeah, you guys saw me look at the uh, the uh, the national player of the year ranking thing again. So a Duke player is on the top now. So that's. That's better than last time. Like like I said last time, there were three Michigan players on it, and now there's only one. So I'm glad that they kind of stopped like blowing Michigan. But they do have a couple of Duke players on there, which I can understand. But like Michigan was so random, like that was like extremely random because I've never known them to be like a good basketball team. No Michigan State to be pretty good, but Michigan that was that was literally the most random thing I've ever seen. But um, yeah, there's a Duke player on the top now, and there's a couple Syracuse guys up there. So, yeah. And he's doing really well on um, points per game and steals per game. I'm trying to get his assists up. Can I check the, um, the, um, what the hell? Okay, I guess I can check stats. Player stats. What does he have right now? He has, this is not, okay. He has 32 right now, 2 rebounds, 5 assists, 
He has a block. How many? He has five assists. Wow. That's really nice. And he has seven steals. So that's good. He has five assists. That's really good, man. I'm going to get it up to ten, hopefully, before this game's over. He has seven steals. That's good, too. Maybe a triple double or double trip something. Maybe I can get that one day. That would be nice. Okay, he has five assists. Okay, so. Maybe six. Six assists. Interesting, interesting. Six assists, seven steals. Oh, damn, that was close. It could have been eight. It could have been eight. Okay, let's go, dude. You need to get over there in your spot. Come on. Come on. There we go. So that's a seven. Seven steals, seven assists. Oh, come on. Eight steals, eight steals, eight. Damn it. I'm getting so close. Oh, eight steals. Ooh. Nine, eight, eight steals, eight assists. Okay, we're gonna get this triple double, man. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, damn it. Yeah, that was kind of my fault. Well, not kind of. That was really my fault. Okay. Okay, can we go now? Oh, I know what I can do. Shoot. I thought I was going to be able to get that steal. Oh, nine steals. Can you please make that? Oh, my God. Nine steals, nine, nine assists. Okay, okay, another one of each, another one of one of them gives me a double-double, and both of them gives me a triple-triple. I mean a triple-double. I'm so dumb. Okay, make this. Oh, I have a double-double. Come on, give me a steal. Let me steal this ball from you real quick. Okay, it's not going to be this one, that's for sure. Okay, let me check to make sure that is. Yes, it is. I do have 10 assists. And I do have 9 steals. Okay, so I was counting them right. Okay, I still have 233 to get this last steal. And then I can have this triple double. I don't know if I've had a triple double. Like, I doubt I have because I don't have many. Um, I don't have a high assist per game. So, that's really good. That is very good. Actually, okay. Let's go ahead and get this one up here. Let's shoot the ball, get rid of it, or score or something. Okay, interesting. Let's go. Get away from him, man. Damn it! They know I'm trying to get it. They just know. Okay, I'm trying to score, y'all. Or just get rid of the ball or something. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to get a triple double over here, you guys. Oh wait, was that it? Was that it? Oh, please tell me that was it. Okay, I have 11 assists and I have a triple double. Oh, it's lit, y'all. That's so cool. I don't think I've had many triple doubles like in my like entire NCAA basketball career, you know. Maybe one day I'll have a quadruple double. <laughs> I doubt it, but that's really cool. I am pretty sure I haven't had a triple double this year, but that's cool. I'm just going to call that my first triple double of the year. So, congratulations point guard, you got a triple double. So your stats should be going up pretty well. 
And maybe you'll be ranked in the player of the year thing now. So, congrats. I'm going to try and... Dude. What? What was that? You made a three-pointer. How? Did you call Jesus? What did you do? Did you sacrifice children? I need an answer. I need a 10-page report on my desk Monday morning. Okay, I really... That really irritates me that they just took a timeout with 42.4 seconds left in the game. And they're down, they're down 45. They are down 45 points and they took a timeout. Like, there's no excuse for this. This I'm going to need a 15 page report on. I need answers. And I need them now. I need them literally now. Like, where are they? Where are the answers? The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Okay, well, I got this triple double under my belt now. And see if we could take a 50 point lead. We cannot. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. You're going to pump our gas someday. Okay, well, you got a foul. That's okay. That's okay. Well, if he misses this, we can technically take a 50 point lead if we make a shot. Yeah, no, it's over. Oh well. I don't want to do that. Yeah, got a 49. Okay, 49 point win. That's Gucci. That's Gucci main. Oh, that means our next game is gonna be Virginia. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. I'm extremely ready. Let's go ahead and play it now. No, I'm not really, but tomorrow we're gonna be playing Virginia and we're gonna light him up. We're gonna kick some Cavalier booty. Mm -hmm. But right now, like I said, I am going to first. I'm gonna check out the national player. I'm a, well. First, I'm gonna sim. I'm gonna sim up to Virginia, and then I'm going to um. I'm gonna check out some stuff, you know. And then, okay. So yes, they're an A minus team. Huh. So they're supposed to kick my butt in pretty much every category of the game, but we know that, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so yeah. Um, North Carolina is the top team for the toughest places to play, and Virginia's not ranked in the top 20 in that, so that's pretty good. So, let's see here. I know that they're not ranked there, but what about the coaches poll? Are they ranked in the coaches poll? They're not. What about RPI? I doubt they are because they play teams like Yale. I mean, come on. Yeah, they're not ranked in the coaches poll either, so that's good. But I am going to check their, um, what the crap? I'm gonna check their uh, thing again to see if they played any more games since. But I'm pretty sure that they haven't because, I mean, come on. In like one day. Okay. There are so many conferences. Okay, Virginia. Okay, yeah, they're still 8 0. Oh my god, they played Minnesota. Yeah, they did have a game today. They played Minnesota. <laughs> they won by one point. Oh my god. Interesting. Very interesting. They could have lost. Holy crap. Is Minnesota good? <laughs> Are they though? <laughs> this is a question I need answered. I'm gonna check out the rest of these teams. Is Boston College a good team? Nah, not that good.
Clemson is undefeated. The ACC is too much, man. They're undefeated. They're 10 and 0. Oh my goodness. They beat them by. They only beat Massachusetts by three, though. They beat North Texas by two. They beat Northern Iowa by twenty something. They beat USC by thirteen. Oh my gosh. Duke is supposed to be good. Hmm. Florida State's lost two games. What about North Carolina? North Carolina is obviously undefeated. Um, they played Alabama, and they beat the living crap out of them. Oh, they played Michigan State. They can't lose that game. <laughs> but I want to check and see. I doubt anything has changed, but I mean, you can always check. No, nothing has changed. Uh, okay. Now, why, why did I look at this? Oh, yeah. I, like, this All-American thing, There, there's a fir All-American first team and All-American second team. He's not even on here. Like, what's the problem, y'all? And we're obviously not on here. And we don't have any of those. But, um, like, he's good. Why is he not up here? Player of the year. Coach of the year. The coach isn't even up here either. Like, he's a good coach. Defensive player of the year and the freshman of the year. Okay. Um, and the uh, division one leaders. Yeah, we have, we have points still. Rebound's not that good. Um... Let's see. Okay, so the most is 9.3. And I just had like 10, 11, maybe. I did have a triple double, so that's pretty good. That's going to be. It's going to put it up there a little bit. What are his stats? I'm going to have to check his, though. 5.6. And I just got like 10. So. Yeah, player stats. Um, where is he? Point guard number four. Yeah, that's him. 42.6 rebounds. Seven assists per game. Hey, he's getting up there, man. Seven assists per game. That's good. If I get ten a game, then that'll... I need to, I need to like, get in, like close to 15 a game. And that'll put it up there. Pull away, since it's early in the season. Okay, so I'm gonna... Did I? I got emails, right? Yeah. Okay, we have three, we have four scholarship offers. Okay, here we go. Here we go, you guys. First one, B. Winslow. And we got our second scholarship. Okay, we got, we got him, we got him. Okay, um, before I answer these, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna look and see what he was. What was he? I don't even need to look at that. Okay, targets. B. Winslow, 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 Winslow. He was, what is he? He's a, he's a point guard. Oh my God. He's a point guard. Oh my God. And he is a center. This is good. This is very good. We have a point guard. We have a center. Wait. Oh, dang it. It showed me these. Hey, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It showed me them. That means that I have more than one that said yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. M. Adams. He is coming to Harvard too. Oh my god. That's three. Or is it more than three? He's not ready. And oh my gosh. So we had three scholarship offers in the same day. Oh my gosh. This is great. <clears throat> okay, so how many how many people do we have coming here so far? Okay, so targets. We have sign Harvard. We have one, two, three. We have four. Yeah, we have four now. Oh my gosh. Okay, and he's a center. He's a three-star center. So that's really good. And he is a two-star point guard. And so is he. But who is the better two-star point guard? Position rank is 101. And position rank is 105. So um, he is technically the better point guard. 
<clears throat> this is very good. Yes. I'm excited. Wow. But I'm still really excited about him because he's the three star center. I mean, come on, you can't get much better than that. Okay. So now that all these people are up in here. Um Wow, that's the second best player in the country. Holy crap. I need you, dude. Did I give you a scholarship? Did I offer you? Maybe I should. I'm gonna do it if I even if I did. But hey you guys, we got three more recruits. Oh my gosh. And in the next game we play Virginia, an ACC undefeated ACC team. So I am so excited to in this episode and go ahead and start even recording the episode right now. So I'm going to see you guys then. Peace out.